tell yourself. You win it. Moment, you ready? I am ready, sir. All right, nice. We don't know. We want to use the arm. The arm on milk, right? Yeah, do that. Awesome, but hey, you know the first step. I know you're not going to do this. You have creamy butter and sugar. How much time, Granny? I guess you don't creamy butter and sugar to make cake and thing. So, I need to put that in a big bowl and just start with it like my Yeah, when well, it could be like me as a shortcut and use the food processor. Oh. Let's put that fresh. Let's The whole thing, right? Yep, yeah, the Thompson's. Step G. Yeah, 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 all the Thompson's. Right? So, the Thompson's are butter. Right? We have a everything. Mix it up or just do it by hand. I'm going to do that today. Okay. Right. Using it of the sugar as well, right? So that processor or the mixer. That good sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Oh. Oh. Easy. I'm gonna get the processor though, cause big man thing I leave it outside. I can't go and get it now. Where is it? I'm gonna put the processor outside. <laughs> oh. So it's already yet. <laughs> yeah, take another one. The mixer is honestly the ideal thing, but you know we have a little ninja, a little food processor, something like that, and you know we work it over here. We work it over here. With that, you just use the handshake. Get your stone first with it. MIG, right? Good. Good. Cool. Like I kind of thought about it earlier, but. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, Jeff, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you, you can hear, man. I can hear you, but I was making a noise. But um, at this stage, we could cream by hand, or we could continue to put it back. All right? You just want to have soap on the bottom, get workable. OK. So I'm going back to the old-fashioned method now. All right? Take out all them things. We start to work. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
เฮ้ยผมจะได้แบ็กขึ้นไอ้สัตว์ไอ้เกียดจะดูไอ้สัตว์รถตีดีเกียดผมไม่รู้ยังผมไม่รู้เลยวิชวาเจวิช Alright, so cremating butter sugar is very important because you want the granules of sugar to mix with the butter, and it helps get that nice, that nice smooth texture. Any cake or bread, bake or whatever it is you're making, the creaming helps break down the granules of sugar to make it more. As well as you know, just working the arm muscles and things. I use brown sugar. If you use brown sugar, but I use brown sugar because it adds more flavor. Um, it's not like a cream, yes, yeah? but it adds more flavor. If you watch the butter sugar is incorporated, yes, but you see that nice, rich brown molasses flavor in it. So, goodness, goodness. Okay. 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 Okay, because you can like... People are going to laugh on this live here. Because... So for your own people, you can eat banana bread. Real nice banana bread. It's a nutty, fruity banana bread. It's real nice. Right? This is chef, this banana bread. All right? People are going to eat this class for me. And when Mohammed wants to sing a song for us. No way. Oh, right now, I'm trying to figure out how to work this. I'm going to leave this here for you to see what he's doing. Yeah. So, Mohammed, look in there, boy. You're getting creamy. Um, yeah, we go. Let me know a bit. When you think you're ready, I will be ready. I'll be waiting on you. You don't have to let all the granules work out, but you just want it to look incorporated. Did I get it? You don't have to get all the granules to be worked out, but you just want to be incorporated because by the time you add the eggs and then you add the bananas, the liquid is going to maybe remain that the granules melt out in it. So okay. All right, well, let me just think that a little more. All right, all right. Yeah. I will just keep mixing in the entire. If you want to get like read the comments and I see what people are saying, anybody joining? I don't know why I'm not sure. <laughs> you don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. How long does this take? You can, like, you honestly, you could do this as much as you wanted. As long as the bottle doesn't close, you're good to go. Right, but you can cream it as much as you want. I don't really go for that much of the creaming, you know. But I wait no more. Anyway, I'm not going to fancy it. Yeah, we mean. I think we got it. What's the next step? We added eggs one at a time. So there's three eggs we're going to add to the bottom of the shell. Okay. I just add one at a time. You don't want to get too loose. Okay, so you add it in and you kind of just pull it in and once it's starting to incorporate, you just kind of mix it up some more. Right. So we're looking nice there, yeah. I like the food. Looking nice. So is your from other people's huh? I don't know, I just said my eggs. Right. One at a time, one at a time until all incorporated, right? So do you know about the guardian we do with case funds? That's just the community kitchen thing we're doing right now. Okay. Well is to raise money for, to get groceries for people. Oh, yes. Impacted by the corona. 
So this community kitchen that we have here, right, which I really like, um, and now again, we'll print it. Uh, Mr. Ray's funds for the Guardian Hideous, right? And um, it's a really nice initiative. I really like it. I mean, I like it about people and supporting people and, and seeing group, you know, and, and, and supporting those who are less fortunate. And I think there's a really good cause, especially in these times, yeah. because, you know, we have so many people who, who need the help, you know? And who not in a position to say, hey, look, I could do this instead of doing that, you know? I've been fortunate to be able to be one of those people who just always think on my feet, but they have a lot of people who are not able to do that, so not even able to figure out how they could do something. And I, I like helping causes that support that, you know? Yeah, I that's definitely the man. And I get to cook with you too, so make it better. Is that, is that, I make some tacos yesterday, you know? Oh, you're coming up thing now, boy. When you have a taco, I can't eat it. I see you was in the bakery down there, come on. Then I, I first time I did that taco, I don't come Friday. Yeah. We have more things to come, and we have more things to come. Right. right. At this stage now, what I like to do is I like to add any oats. So we have a couple of oats here. Um, you could, if you have those fine oats, you could add it in straight, or you could, you know, pulse it in a food processor, or grind it in a mill if you want. Um, or you can leave it for Watch my words here, good? And I put the um, nutmeg. Yes. And cinnamon in the oats. Yes. So I add in the oats, I'm going to fold that in. And then okay. I'll mash the banana. Again, I cheat in. I use them food processor. So fold in the oats, right? Yeah, fold them in. No, I like to add the oats at this stage because, because I know I'm going to add a lot of liquid from the bananas. The oats help absorb some of the liquid and stop the separation of the fat from the liquid and the sugars in the banana, right? Mm. So this is not the as much as compared to sometimes you make a banana bread uh, or a cake and you find it looks like a turtle because of too much liquid, right? Right. I right. Yeah. banana bread very moist and very banana delicious. So I put banana. banana. Yes. Hence the see. So I'm gonna put these bananas. You can then mash them with a fork in a bowl. I'm gonna put them in the food processor. So I some big thing and some small thing. These chiquitos, they're very ripe and nice. Yes, you know, these spot something that we all want. That is I mash them. In a bowl. Just put them in the mash them up. I'm gonna put them in the food processor. Make it into a piece. I like to. I find your food processor taking longer than my hand. Huh? Eh? The processor taking longer than my hand. <laughs> well, it's a processor, you know. You gotta trust the process. I feel there's granny help. You understand? Granny help for me. She don't care about cheek. Go on, you Can you cast it down? She watch and say, You want me to make bread? You, you go to make me a bread? I'm laughing. She never sees it, but one. Chef G. Right. So you see what we're right. doing here? Liquid. I like mine to get liquid. And as I'm going to go incorporate, mm -hmm. less, yeah. of milk, less of the milk. All right. Normally, as we use regular milk flesh, but I mean, we have some nice naturally almond, almond milk, naturally almond coconut milk. So you know what I can do that. 
Yeah. 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 You know, I like I like the local brands on TikTok. I find these things I even around local brands, but are we supposed to be doing? So well, we yeah. incorporated the banana in the milk now? Yeah, banana incorporated into the let me mixture there. Let's see how we look in. Looking nice. I want nice and people are from them to keep your thing on thing. Yeah. And the, and the milk now, is it? Yeah, what is it? The milk too? You what? Right. So now we have this taste. You see what looking here? It will look like it kind of curdle, but that's because the banana and the cream butter and sugar with the ends and fully incorporated. And it would never really incorporate properly, properly because I I oil and everything else, you know, fat strength and mix with whatever the banana is. And that's some potassium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not going to fully mix, but it will come out there when it does. Right? Let's have a sip, though. But you yeah. can have a sip, though. Or, you don't have to, but I find it recommended. G. Right. Yo. Right, so I have the bananas, the oats, the eggs, the sugar, everything here, and this goldy butter. I put any milk? No, nah, not yet. We won't put, we won't put the can you have flour, put the flour, and the milk in alternate portions. So it's three, we won't separate the flour, and to shift the tent in three times, and you're gonna add the milk in, in two parts. So now it's okay. time for the flour. You can put some flour and sift it to you. So watch a minute. Look at that. Looking nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. snow. <laughs> it's really nice. I fucked some days out. <laughs> So why do you recommend sifting flour? Okay, so sifting flour is very good because when you incorporate it into it, so you get a lighter end result, as well as if there are any clumps of flour, you get a good of flour, like what we have here, right? So that way I wouldn't get like little balls of flour in and result in and turn off whether it's a cake or a salt or banana bread or whatever, right? And this much, yeah, well, I want to give my spices. <laughs> I'm not men. All right, the one great is fresh. You can put cinnamon. I put in cardamom this time. I want to change it up. Right? Wow. So that adds a nice little flavor to it as well. We still have an essence, but spice is life now. You know, so. I like that. I like them. You really not? And you're great. It's in fresh. So keep it really good. You need to hold that back? No, nah, but I have to put this on. If I'm making a big batch, I might use two nutmeg because I'll probably make like four times the amount I'm making here too. People, Yo! Right. So again, I'm going to one thing. Right, you see what I put? You put all this on, right? You put some, right? I put some, I put a little bit of milk, and I incorporate that. I put in more now, more flour. Right, I incorporate that flour in the fruits, right? Nice. So the flour incorporates in here nicely, like this. Once you flour working, we want to add half the milk. You can throw it, honestly, I've made this by just throwing everything in the bowl and mixing it up. But that's what it's me now. Yo, that kind of one's smelling real good. Yeah, that would be seen. But that changes the whole complexity of the dish. Too. It smells like a chai. Yeah. So we have a chai banana milk. Very nutmeg makes man. Really nice. Not make nice. They make nice. Yeah. Even when we didn't add the milk, it's still pretty like what you do. Yeah, because I didn't want bananas we have it. Uh -huh. I hear you. So Chef G, what have you been doing during the whole lockdown situation? A lot of mercy. <laughs> um well I just do a little food sometimes on the weekends. For certain clients who ask me specifically, but only to them. So I'm gonna give them directly. Um drop off and that's it. 
Um, I work with market movers as well. Um, they supply fresh local produce straight to your dome. Basically, they move the market, right? They have some grocery items as well. So I work with them, um, also trying to add on certain items and give more value to the customers by sharing tips for them with what they could do at home with the stuff that they get. Um, I'm just trying to overall improve everyone's time at home while they stay at home, trying to figure out what to do while they're home, what to eat, you know? Um, a very important thing in this time is actually what you eat because if you don't eat healthily, then you make yourself susceptible to whatever disease, etc. right? So we have the almond milk here, one for half. So for this recipe, mm -hmm. oh, and yes, well, I want to thank Ampo very much for sponsoring this because, well, without them, I ain't gonna be doing this video, right? It's fresh boy. Understand? And uh, you have that open, right? So we didn't want to. Let me try and shake this up, good, good, good. So the hand mixing is what way? Mixing is what it? Yeah, way. Is that a good thing? Is that cement? Is that a good thing? <laughs> right. Ooh. Right. It's smelling a little bit though. Now we're seeing, well, you know what's it smelling, but it would taste good. So we're going to half the milk. Right. Okay. What about the hand? The almond essence. That going and going is last last at all. Well, I I don't put all my I put all my milk and everything out, you know. I don't say anything. Just come on, but don't worry. Right. So I'm on a son. Yeah, two eighteen. Two another dash. Is that dash? Yeah. Food is not about the exact measurements. Food is about the intention behind it. Once I was chef say. I was chef to say. Bye bye. <laughs> Woo. Once you have a we, we also didn't talk about the baking soda and the baking powder. Right. So, yeah, add the baking soda and baking powder to the flour, which I know that they As normally add a little bit to the flour first, then add incorporate because of the amounts of liquid from the bananas, and then add the baking powder and the baking soda to the remaining more flour. Right. You can use a fork to mix it in. I use my hand because, well, People say I'm a sweet guy. Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these things are. I don't know what they're doing. Right? So for the next one, so the flower, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. this is it, eh? I know the good thing about um, almond milk is this, right? Yeah, um, I mean, I personally, if I use an almond milk, a lot of the time I like to use fresh almonds. So, can I use almond? But when you have a product like naturally, naturally almond, almond milk, and it's already made for you, you have the benefits of getting all the B vitamins and all the nutrients from the almonds without the side effects of. Let's say lact lactose, right? So if you are lactose intolerant, you don't have to worry about you know having a breakout or getting constipated or any of those things while still getting nutrition. Um, and you know if you want to enjoy certain simple things like cereal and stuff, you can still do those things because you have a pre-packaged almond milk, you know. And then again, I mean, I find almond milk tastes better than regular cold. That's just me, you know. So now, the next half, uh -huh. the, next half of the milk, I put my essence. You don't skip all that, and you don't have all that in already, right? I don't. I don't do all that. I do I all that. that. I don't do that. You can put any flour in parts and everything. So I don't. So we're going to incorporate the last set of the dry ingredients, and then we're going to put what I like to call the coutrement, right? So we add a little nut something, we're going to add in that, we're going to dice up some pieces of banana and put that in as well, 
That way, you see, 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 Right, so you're not doing anything. That's the last thing to put in. Yeah. Now, one, or just send someone, you show the love now, one, right? Bless some people on them. Eh, it's true, I don't but these people that I see every day, these people on them who you never know, so we are strong, they might come and help you back, you don't know, right? For sure, so. Chef G, what's my mixture? Let me see, let me see. I can't see right now, I'm blind. You're blind? I'm blind. What's my name? All right, you look, yeah, you're looking nice there, man. I'm not about you alone, any mixture too. I thought about what? Not just you alone, you make sure you alone. Hey, Lorena. I'm a little, I'm a little chef for well. I'm a little yeah, front. You better see the man. I just in my little branded jersey and thing, you understand? Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We look nice. Read the message on the back, huh? Read the message on the back. Food All right. Is our food, is our love, is our vibe. Oh, that's nice. Right. <laughs> Right, so let's see what's going on here, right? Look how make sure you look good. You all make sure you look nicer than mine. Right? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Right? Nice, nice, nice. Right. So right. So you see what's going on here? I have almonds and walnuts. Almond slices. And I have policy walnuts in your food. So I get a little chop up and say, all our wishes in there. Ciao. I still have a walnuts in mind, so I didn't have any walnuts, but I put enough almonds. Well, right. One sip, nutty. One sip, yeah. nutty. Mm -hmm. Good. Chopping up some bananas. Right, we're chopping up some banana pieces here, you know? All that good and good in it. You don't have to be okay in a precise way. Can nobody see in it? Right? Hey? Why can't enough these bananas? Because I, I find that when you're going to buy a banana bread somewhere, right? You only taste any banana in your bread, but you ain't seen a banana. So I put right. pieces in my bread and put slices on top. When you're done, you know, without a doubt in your heart, like banana bread, you ain't get wrong. Right? Good. And trust me, these little pieces in that banana bread, when you eat that soup, trust me, hey, you see yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. See that piece there? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Put some banana bread, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so all that we need, all that, everything, everyone. Right. Right, we're folding that in slow. The attacks. The attacks. Already started. Good. Everything mixed with you there? Everything mixed with me. Right. So now your next step is where the oven we I know two we oven done for curry. Right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grease the pan and flour it, put it in the pan, decorate it and put it on the Look at that. Ooh. So what are these for? I still go on the top. Oh you see the picture? No, yeah, yes, I did. Mom, have you seen a picture of my banana bread? No, but it's already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that banana bread just looks nice. It looks nice. That's all I've been to. 
Right? I'm using these fans on them. Right? So that I see it on my little bag, it's not saying well, you know? Or they can use their fancy fan home. You know, if they have fans like these, they can use fans like these. Right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this fan. I'm doing this fan. And you will see how I come out. So put these two ones there. Always make sure and grease your pan and pour it. Grease and flour. Grease and flour. That way you know when you really take it out, it's not sticking no way. Okay. Be generous with it. Get some love. Be generous. All right, good. I wasn't being so generous. I'm going to be a little more generous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be generous now. I see what we're doing here. It's real butter in the pan. What's the pan? What is it? That's essential. That's essential. You can't get along any cracks on your crevices. Everywhere, everywhere. All up. Where you made it? You said I made every part and all the cracks and crevices. That's right. <laughs> we cook it, we cook it. <laughs> right. A butter, no one flower. No wash man. Right. So my boy, mommy, we are going to get a song, you know? We are going to get a song today, you know? Get a song? What do you mean? I try to focus on make this bread, yo. <laughs> All right, well, what is it baking now? What is it baking? What is it baking? Yeah, How long is it take to bake? How long is it going to take to bake? I, I don't know. You had to ask the oven. Ask the oven? Yeah, how can you tell the bread store? Not sure how doing this flower and thing right now. I'll go show you, I'll go show you, I'll go show you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't I just talk. Huh? Can I can't just throw the flower in the pan there, miss. Yeah, I'm kind of knock it around. All right. Let's make sure everywhere I have butter, I'll flower on top of it after, that is all. Okay. Right? Right. Right. This is just to prevent the sticking oil. This is to prevent the sticking. Anything and, else? And to make sure that I follow what Granny tells me. <laughs> Come on, I grind Granny to spot a big cake and banana bread and things. She tells me make sure and do that. So I make sure and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my granny here watching me, skeptical, skeptical. I'm waiting for when you don't make it, and granny takes it later, and you have so many messages and say, yeah, boy, granny like it. I want to tell you, granny, I can't. 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 I I'll have a next fan, but I want to see the next one. I'll put these in the oven and one thing next time. Right? You can just pour it straight into the pan. You know? And use it average. I use some ice cream scoop. And just drop it in. So, does it rise? Of course it rises. Okay. It's rising your pleasure. So don't put it too high. Put it like about, about three quarters away. All right. All right, so you see how this looking there? I'll well, let you put away. You're good to go there. Cool. You rise and pull up the pan. Look magnificent. Rob Passat says he's available for a taste test. And don't worry, no man. You make the thing, no man. Donate and you're going to get free. I might get off your banana room. <laughs> You just donate now and make sure you send them that thing. Yeah, the link is in the bio, everybody. So 
make sure. I always make him banana bread. Right. So let me just go with these two pan right here. Those three more counter look very dusty and thin. Okay. So we have these two pan here. Right? First things first. Go and get a little of your sprinkling some almonds on top. More almonds. Oh, more almonds. More almonds. It's almond. It's almond loaf with banana in it. So not banana loaf. I feel like I use one more almonds there. Uh, we have a nightclub. I feel like I use one more almonds there. You use only almonds? I'm not saying. You have more oats? Yeah. I'm oats on top now, man. They go look nice still. Granny doesn't agree with anything you're saying. Cut the banana, put the banana on top, make it look nice, you know? When somebody see this, they know for sure it's banana bread. They ain't thinking, you know, what kind of thing is that? Eh? No, that have to be banana bread. If it's not banana bread, it's it. Granny, is there you going to come? And tell me what to do. Oh, you're gonna let me do what to do. Well, let me know what I am, Mr. She's gonna see it. I try to do what I'm doing, and she only whispering from the door. Do, do, do that. Go do this. Go do that. <laughs> Granny, nice. when you see he don't make this banana bread, you yeah, had to eat it, you know? Come in, come in. Hi. You tell him. You gotta tell him how good he banana bread tastes, and tell him he have to sing a song about banana bread. Right. I will sit up. Mm hmm. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, more fig there? I'm more fig here. Yeah. Right. We're slicing up some fig and putting it on the top in a nice little line or whatever pattern you choose. Right. She said, Oh, God, no. Can no God here, girl? <laughs> she said, Oh, God, no. Man. Man and mankind. So the oven has been preheating for a while now. Would it be too mm -hmm. hot? No, nah, it can't get too hot. If it get too hot, then the oven ain't working properly. If it get yeah, too hot, the oven is not working properly. That will be seen. Looking nice. Line it up. And I know you have no walnuts, so I put walnuts for you too, right? Give thanks. See, all you at home, all you decide, all you're going to try this recipe. When you see all you make this, all you take a picture, tag proper it, tag Mohammed, tag me. I want to see all you're making. But you can just make this and keep it secret and hush hush. I can't begin with all my secrets, how to make best thing. And I can't see all you make it, all you make it and show them. I don't feel you know how about getting out my recipe. I know it's for a good cause, people are going to eat good food. Right, so you see how we look in there? Them two are going to go over. Wood. Right? You ready to go in the oven? Ready to go in the oven. Right, let me drop them in the oven then. Two of them are still on there for a little while. Right side by side. In the meantime, We'll deal with this pan here now. See how nice I could do up this one and decorate it and see if I could lay the proper eats with a nice banana bread to eat. You know? Hopefully they, you know, they will pull me back again and say, oh, yeah, boy, <laughs> yeah, banana bread tastes good. Bro. Yeah, I will pull. <laughs> and I will let you know. I'll save a piece for Teresa. Yes, yes, yes. She's supposed to be making, she won't do. I know she buys some bananas here today. <laughs> IG. 
Right, so you're about to have right inside, right? Uh-huh. All right, so you can sing the, um, the little song for me now, right? I will try to sing it, but I, I can't sing good. Oh, God. That's not against our messaging. You might want to charge me for pages in your song and thing now, boy. I got to sing some more, you know. There's nothing. You're yeah, punching for that more, you yeah. know? No, sir. No. No. That's not that thing. Boy, anything with a percent, any that thing, boy. And he more be lined up and thing. You understand? So how long is it going to take to be? A little while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really time it. So how are you going to cover it? It's been a real good time for me, you know, in a way. All right. right. You know, everything's been so busy and really just getting the chance to to sit back and kind of relax a little bit and get into yeah. a different part of the work. So just a lot of songs and a lot of drawing and a lot of living, a lot of introspection been going on, you know? So right, right, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. That to me is, is 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 the best part about this time so far. Like not having to be outside and be around everybody all the time. You know what I mean? Um I was saying to a friend of mine because of carnival, we would have we would have probably taken about four or five flights already. Between now and yeah. now, to this, and you know, I was really much up on carnival, so I really appreciate the rest. Like, I really appreciate the rest. I was also saying to another friend, I feel like we've been going since primary school, man. Like, like we ain't stop. You know, it's like the first time really getting to just stop for a little bit. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it is? All right. Well. I can clean up a little bit then. In the meantime. Yeah, yeah. Clean up and think about your song. So we really gonna wait for this whole breath to bake right now? That's well, I don't know, you're not asking the director. <laughs> director, how that's supposed to go? Are we supposed to like a pre-made bread? Or should I make a pre-made bread or no? I didn't have time. Director. I actually ask him though, cause Make this one here. Anybody, anybody had any questions for us on the live? Yeah, well, let me tell you something now, man. And you ask, you have a big, big, big musician here, and you have a trying chef here. Yeah. Try. One of the best chefs in China, Um, no, but really, is there anybody monitoring any questions so we could, if anybody asking us anything? Look, look I have ideas. Go watch mm -hmm. it. So check what Annie see about you. Yes, yes, yes. Annie is Annie is talk to me. You're making banana bread. What is where is it? How are looking with the banana bread? Are up to the standard or not up to the standard? So, so you're all okay, right? I hope I really gonna donate to this cause and support this cause and every other cause that the Guardian, the Guardian previous one have on. Because, as I say, right? We have to support those who don't have, right? One day we might be in a situation we don't have, right? And we will be glad if somebody can just come and, it might be as simple as somebody come and get a pat on the shoulder, it might be a help. 
I know I was in that situation once, you know? And other people might need more than others. We might be able to help them, you know? Or let go, check on the info, right? And donate on something, uh, it's gonna be plenty, you know, but whatever you could afford to do it, send something, uh, man. You know, you can do it for them, so, you know, get in contact with them, say, well, hey, look, I have some little groceries, I have some little goods, little something, you know? I want to volunteer my services, I want to volunteer my help. And I was saying this, proper eats. Let me do a little food drive now. Hit me up. I did, right? I will not fit, you know. I'm not busy for them. I always busy. COVID never keep me down. But I will to do it. And if I will to do it, well, they can more than give, man. Right? We had to see, you know, we had to see the love. I promise, we had to see the love. I can't talk about my data. Do we have to stay online for the year? Yeah, gee, I, I really ask it now though, because this bread might take an hour. <laughs> so yeah. that was a charge. Are we really going to stay on the live until the bread finishes big? They king. I wait on response to the <laughs> Yeah, I wait then because I don't know if I don't know if that really makes too much sense for us to wait until the bread is finished baking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It might take a while. Yeah, it might take a while. Yeah. Mm. So what yeah. we could do? Stay on the live till the the bread is finished. All right, so we are staying on the live until the bread is finished, mom. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna be epic, everybody. So whoever is watching, we are gonna have some fun, exciting entertainment for Mohammed and chef g so stay on because we have <laughs> we are here to entertain you all and i am waiting i'm going to help you sing a song i mean for him to sing a, a song, song. <laughs> maybe we can have a duet between you all i don't mind you know i am game i can't sing but i'm game <laughs> but i know we can have a virtual concert i know how many is trying to back out of singing why no we I I'm not trying to back out of it. I just, I, I did not, I, got, I, was, I wasn't sure exactly what we were going to do. You know, um, I'm in my kitchen for an hour. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure. Don't <laughs> <laughs> put your place for next hour. <laughs> the kitchen. Don't worry about that. We want to hear, you know, anything you're coming up with. If there's anything, talk about any songs, any inspiration you've had over the whole COVID period? I want to say something, Mohammed. Yeah. I really appreciate that Midnight Live videos be doing more. And I real time, so I am not feeling dumb, eh? But I'm prepping and I'm doing my thing because it's real work and thing. But it's not a little acoustic, that little Midnight Vibes. You be bridging, who, who will come on in every time? And yeah, lots of family member. Just, you know, yeah. you know, get yeah, consolation from the whole vibe now. Eh? Yeah. That's Samuel, Samuel Thomas. He's a real amazing singer too. That's his uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all say that too. Yeah, I really, I really like that. One. I really appreciate that. One. Because you never know what people are going through in this time. And and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, and you know, us to talk about where we're more together and helping each other. You know. Yeah. You and I, we 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 live that way already. Yeah? But I think a lot of people, the ideas are kind of foreign to them and. We really, really have to kind of realize that this, that's the time now. We have to go back there in a very real way now. You know what I mean? So if you're baking a banana bread, bake too. Make sure your neighbor right. get a piece. You know? Right. So just so the other day, I was doing some food drop-offs for some friends and, and I passed some people and, you know, I realized like they were looking like they wasn't having an hour. And I said, thing and I say, hey, well, and it's one of the fellas who does sell food, um, sell the produce, but he said, you know, to it. I do say, boy, things are happening. Then I say, hey, well, well. Oh, little tree beans, a little, little grilled chicken, like up yourself. I ain't doing yeah. it for no land, for no film. You know, the man out there trying to sell produce economy hard. I say, look, yeah. pull something, sell it out. You know? Yeah. And you have to be open to it. The thing is, you have to, you have to, you have to know how to see it. Because not everybody who, who needs will ask. Yeah? Yeah, you know? True. You need to be able to recognize when people need and, and, and to give them without them having to, to ask sometimes. You know, because sometimes it take a lot for a person to ask. A lot of people will suffer real plenty before they actually ask for something, you know? So I think that's real important that we learn to recognize need before somebody gets to the point where they have to ask us, you know? 
Yeah. Okay, so in the meantime, while our banana bread is making, we are going to improvise with the rest of our almond milk and maybe try and make something with it, like a drink. Oh, yeah, on milk. <laughs> Do I have conflicts on milk? I have. I have <laughs> Let's take a look no, at it and it. see what we have. <laughs> we don't have much. It's not tomatoes. It's not eggs. We have some rum. Tomatoes. We have some brandy. Why are you looking at me? sick on this leg. Tomatoes. I don't know. No. I'm not saying Food places open, but there's nobody going through that. We have some eggs. And we have gone. We have peanut butter. <laughs> and rum. We and, have and, 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 and. we have maple, maple syrup. But here we could have milk. We have jalapenos. <laughs> we could have milk. A rum peanut punch. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. So Mohammed, get your ingredients ready. We're gonna have a little drink. Bas so, so you were drinking something just now. I can get more. I am drinking the whole special boiled Morbi. That's what's going on me right now. Wow. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. You really use the Morbi bark to make it? Yeah, we. Huh? Moment of the look at that. What pattern you put on your banana bread, G? Huh? So I, I was told to ask you what pattern you put on your banana bread. Um. Well, a straight line pattern. And in this part, I love thing. You're looking like a marijuana leaf. <laughs> oh, hey, I wish. Hey, I'll make some kind of words in a day. Come on. Yeah. Nice. I'm not sure if you can say that. <laughs> well, it's legal. Progress, you all. progress, eating rising. Yeah. That's right, it's rising a little bit, right? I don't so have, have to check. Oh, I'm afraid to. No, no. no I, I don't afraid. I just talk to these things, don't think. Yeah. Night rising, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I want to get up a little bit and I see what I can make with them. Remember? I know I gave a bottle, um, a pack of cashew milk for Muhammad. Did you like yeah. try it? I'm gonna try it. I never, I never even hear about cashew milk before. I want to try this. It's supposed Just to be a thicker up. milk. What is something you use um, cashew milk for, Chef G? Well, you can make the lovely seafood cashew curry. Yes. Some little ginger, turmeric. Right, yeah, what do you mean? Them kind of things, cook it up nice. Add the cashew milk to it. Could trip back in your belly now and pull it to get nice and thick. Add some butter. Yeah, and a little flavor, flavor little in that spices and your little drink some seafood. I think I'm gonna actually got it, and they really like it. Gee, there's um vanilla cashew milk here. So I'm gonna try this. I never tried this before. I'm always tasting, I'm always tasting them on. Yeah, I'll let you watch on my phone. Let me shake it up. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. All right, let me see what we're doing here. Hold on. Good on consistency. Mm-hmm. All right. How about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, not bad. Nice, nice. I wish it. Yo, yo, naturally cashew. It's good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hey, look at that coconut today. Coconut milk, vanilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. It's nice. nice. And it had the original. Original, vanilla. Okay, all right, it's all right, it's all right. You all on the live, I want to remind everybody, um, tomorrow, Freetown Collective is having a live concert on Facebook, tomorrow. 
Yeah, boy. You get that? You get that one at the midnight. <laughs> For sure. But tomorrow we're on Facebook Live. From 6 o'clock. Yeah. Every chef's nightmare, washing weights. Yeah, boy. I need to do that too. Who likes to wash weights? I need to do it too, what? Let me do it. If I only leave this kitchen like this. Hmm. I think it might, it might also help if you take some questions from the live and ask if anybody want to ask us anything at all. That might help too. Yeah, well, yeah, tell you what to do. Ask some questions. Say something. Uh, let, let, quiet, let, let me know who will try to make it banana bread. Who make it right now? Yeah, I mean, both kitchens are looking like banana bread now. Yeah, no, you're doing something right then. Yep. Okay, so how can we like watch the free town concert tomorrow? Like on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So usually every week we we are now um, we've been on Instagram so far, but we switch any platform just to test it out. So we're going on Facebook tomorrow from six o'clock. Yeah. So from collective on Facebook, you just search it and and, and we'll be there from six o'clock on our live. Okay. So how long is the concert? So we um. We have two guest performers every week. This week we have Giovanna and Alexandra still. Okay. So Giovanna is a, a local musician, really amazing young female voice, really songwriter, like amazing, amazing. You should check out Giovanna, J-I-V-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Giovanna, big, big, big singer. And we have Alexandra Stewart, who's one of the, the premier poets in the country as well. She won the First Citizens National Slam this year, I mean last year. Um, really, really amazing young lady as well. And then our concert itself is our half an hour. Yeah, so they go first, and then we have a half an hour. And then we go on our live, actually live, and, and talk to people and take questions and do little interviews and stuff like that. So, yeah, check it out tomorrow, 6 o'clock. Oh, you never went to a free town concert. Oh, you know, you're missing out. Yeah, this COVID thing. I think the worst thing about this COVID thing is it's no more free town concerts. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate but yeah um, i'm actually really, really, really looking forward to the next to the next one i'm looking forward to when we're able to meet up again because it really is a vibe it will be nice and i know you're gonna be there too i know you're gonna be cooking up some. of course and uh, when this thing gonna come out real plenty different thing real food all kind of thing yes what are you experimenting with boy huh. i make a bacon shack in a day uh -huh. Sorry, I make my own aioli from scratch. I crack my own free range eggs. I make my own aioli. But what can I say? Hey, people born. Man, say they don't want to go back. That's what they can check again. Nice. It was problem. It was problems. Awesome. Awesome. Sure. I was on a bus for the longest while. I can never see nobody come out of the sure. I was in China, but again, with a local place now. Right. I did some small events last year. I think I invited you to one, but I know you were busy. Because it was the, the, the December month now. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I do some strong ones. The response was real, but sorry, when I come on to that as well, again, local ingredients, local stuff, you know? Yeah. My chain, I'll be tacos a little bit too. But that, them tacos are super good. If you cook and I eat, yes? Where about this cook and I eat? Other than pork, of course. Nah, you know how much videos are you? I have on my phone, you can do it. That's my favorite way, honestly. If you all haven't tried Chef G's food, as soon as it's over, or whatever chance you get, the next chance you get, you need to try his food. Like, for real, for real. I want to let me check on the IG. Chef G, my first one, see what about. Right? I have many things that I am posting on the IG, but see what about. Right now, I want to work with local brands. 
and just be real local power for local brand because if this thing keep up, import and you know, low and we gotta support the local. You know? So yeah. well, we should have we should have been doing that already, yeah. But if if we haven't been, this is the yeah, perfect yeah. time to do it. But you know I mean? haven't been with it, but it's like right. important to want to support it. And yeah. more than just people at home, but people who have a business, people who have a little grocery, a little something, this complaint and say. Boy, it's too expensive to support local because local brands are expensive. But can right. you don't make their product, they can make it cheaper. Yeah, it's true. It's true. No. Hey, Mohammed, you wash your dishes yet? <laughs> no, I don't want to come back to the camera to wash dishes, so I, I just hold my vibes. I hear you. I wash them up. I don't mind washing. Nah, I hate washing the. Where's my thing? Oh, oh! I want to know, um, Chef G, for your um vegan shark, right? We had like a community kitchen episode with cook Trini cooking with Natasha mm -hmm. and Blaze. Right. So Natasha wants to find out if you use her bacon shark recipe. No, I didn't. I don't use any recipes. I make my own recipes. Man, well, you have to share with us still. And, and even this banana bread recipe is something that I made up. Like, I literally threw stuff in a bowl and wrote down the ingredients. I had my dish right down for the action. So I just threw things in a bowl and I told, okay, write this down, write that down, and that's why I made this recipe. And I that, hear you. That bacon shark was basically me being in market movers and them saying, we want bacon shark. For the past week, we want bacon shark. I'm like, okay, what do I do? I took ingredients from whatever I saw and I made something. and. Nice. So what's special about your vegan shop recipe? Is there anything different or I mean it's a oh, <laughs> for me food is not about recipe and, and and trying to you know like be competitive with someone else or nothing. For me, it's about doing something and putting forth the best that I could do creatively. And um, especially if I'm cooking for specific people, I want to know that they can enjoy what I have and suit them. So I have clients that I actually make meals and make up dishes specifically for them because they like it. Um, like even the tacos that I do, those tacos are fusion between local and international. You can go anywhere in China today and get a double beef taco. Right? That is our curry street beef, like where your granny is making on a Sunday. Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You can't just say Douglas beef taco just so. Because we had a talk about it. <laughs> you see that Douglas beef taco? I don't even like beef. And I eat that the first time, and you might have some kind of curly onion thing he's put on top of it, some crispy onion thing. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. If you don't try nothing else from this man, when you when you find him, wherever you find him, that dogla beef taco. Oh my god. Hey. Hey. As you know that is provision for I tell Dashin Kasava and Sweet Potato mashed it, seasoned it, and made polori out of it. And that is my biggest seller. I can sell in any fed, any party, I could go in with you. And that's the first thing I sell out in Ritzia. Anytime I go to Ritzia, that's what I for everything. And people still want more. I can't make it up. All right. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Thank you for all the hard work. <laughs> Let's see you through it. Yeah. So we have peanut butter here. We have this aunt Jemima here. I have nutmeg. Don't put it in, buddy. I have cinnamon. I have sugar. Ah, we have sugar here. I have two strong. Then piece of banana there. I have a tree team. Ah, I'll tell you. Peanut butter, banana, almond milk. We have more peanut butter. We have more peanut butter. Anything else? No. Hey, we have some stuff up here. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We have a leg. We don't want to <laughs> let any punch, no matter what. All right, yeah, this is on top in the shelf. Yeah, all right.
Kakji is making an uh, improvised punch with our leftover ingredients. So this is all the food we have left. That's all the food we have left. <laughs> Two pieces of food. Right. And I think also in the we did a poll right during this live, and it said that um I think the question was, what do you use for your ba banana bread? Um, normal bananas or sulfate? Um, depends on what I have available. If I rather use silk fig or chiquito fig, like I did today, I use chiquito fig and I use some normal bananas. Yeah. Right? Um, Only 7% of people said they use silk fig. The majority of people use the normal. Because that's what's more available. Okay. But okay. if you want silk fig, get in contact with Market Movers, check them online at marketmovers.com and order your silk fig. They usually have one to two seasons. Right now, we have a lot of silk fig and mom. So you're making a punch here, right? I'm trying to. All right. Now, once you have enough for one. I can't really punch it when you're going to drink some food. I'll take up. Let me see. I know there's no more peanut butter for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. It is it? Huh? It is it? Yeah. Oh my word. They don't have some dough, they don't have some pizza. But for this, right? Are you gonna use the coconut or the almond? We have three different flavors. Maybe we should mm -hmm. ask people in the comments which one should we use. Well, or your votes and choose which one. Which, which one we can use. So okay, this is the original almond milk. Original. I and then we have vanilla. And then we have coconut. So coconut vanilla. So we shall see. Let's see what are what are the measurements for this? That's like three tablespoons. I think so. <laughs> uh, like three or four, some. Okay. And then another banana, some some peanut butter. Right, right. So, do you use a lot of almond milk in your cooking in general? Um, not first. Thing. Okay. Um, honestly, most of the stuff that I do, I go more for a more natural approach. So, like, if I have to use almond milk, I actually use almonds, so you know, and I can blend it. Okay. Um, and it's not really for the almond milk, more like for almond paste, because I want more thickness, so like if I'm making curries, like authentic curries and stuff. Okay. Um, you can probably talk about that. Right? But like, if I do, if I do like something like, let's say, let's say I want to make uh, oil log, right? The coconut milk, but the original, not the vanilla one, but the original is nice. You can use the vanilla, just have the extra sweetness, right? Um, as well, you know, I have a meeting on every moment. I'm trying to get them to eat a lot healthier. So I would always recommend to them, you know, use the almond milk, use the, 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 the naturally almond, almond milk, put the naturally almond coconut milk with a cereal as opposed to the cow right? right? But you're a vegetarian. I hear you. So that means you don't, are you vegan or vegetarian? Um, I don't use labels, but I don't eat meat. Drink milk, um, but I use cheese sometimes, you know. But like this banana bread has egg in it, I would eat a piece, but then I don't eat a lot of those things. So I just try to keep moderation in life and stay true to what I think is most suitable or best for me. I hear you. Whatever food, whatever food, whatever food, coconut, I'm an original, I'm on vanilla. Tell me, tell me. Yeah. Okay, so more nutmeg. Yeah, nutmeg. Spice of life. Well, all spices is spice of life. All right. How long do you think the banana bread has in the oven again? Well, let me let's take a check. Let's take a check. In. Ooh, oh my God. So it's risen quite nicely. I would say the two that we put in originally probably have about 20 minutes again. Um, once it gets a nice coloration, we yeah. just take like a toothpick or a yeah. knife or something to undock it to make sure it's not going to center. And it should be good. So, y'all, it smells like chai. Yeah. From the cardamom. From the cardamom, yeah. Mm. And the almond milk, too, right? The almond milk will also add a more aromatic smell to it because it's not just regular cow's milk, it's vanilla almond milk. So, you'll get that vanilla as well as the cardamom. Okay. So, yeah, maybe I should make a chai banana bread sometime. Okay. Like, actually get tea leaves and. Use the almond milk. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, properly, um, chai, chai bread, chai cake. 
chai cake. Yeah, we're going to do it. Try, try. Yeah. So you are... We have a, a, a small issue on our end where the data might cut off, so I might cut off and reappear. So I may cut off and reappear. Cool, cool. Did you send me a mobile? Don't do my version that now, man. It's not my phone. It's not my phone. So what are we using here now? What are we using here now? Okay, I'm going to check the comments right now. Are we checking back in the fridge? What do we have? This rum is still used, right? Well, it is was... it really rum? But yeah, it's actually a drink, I think. We have one of our um, mixologists make a drink for us. <laughs> Get so, them on. Ask them. What is this you have? have? Yeah, I think it's pre mixed. I need rum. Hold on. I, I don't, is it that experiment? I do. No, is is a literal cocktail, but I think it's it's for the. We will be using it. We will use it. This is by our friend Declan Khan from Plantech Bar Services. They were supposed to come over and make some drinks for us, but we ran out of time. So we are going to make use of this for our recipe right now. Right now, I like rum. Hey, um, Muhammad is gone. The heat the heater. But he'll be back. Oh, yeah, he coming. Yeah, he coming. He coming. Yeah, yeah. So this smells like rum and other stuff. Let me take a little spoon and see what you have. Yeah. Next time, Also, um, somebody in the comments just asked, right? Is Chef going purely on the color? Of the banana bread. How are you gonna know if it's done? So I go by when it speaks to me. I smell it, <laughs> my color, and it looks like it's done. So I pull it out and I ask it, are you done? And then I stick a fork in it or a skewer or a toothpick. And once the toothpick comes out clean, then you know for sure it's done. Right? So yes, I do go by some sort of actual way to check other than just how it looks or how I feel about it, but yes. Okay, cool. Let's see what's going on here now. So, we're adding some rum. We are adding some rum to our peanut butter nutmeg mixture. And we're making it, well, we are incorporating it. Okay, okay. So, it's starting to get a little loose now. Yes, I like peanut punch in here, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Like a Five peanut punch. Yeah, yeah. So we're using which one do you send? I'm gonna check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm checking the comments. And it means I'm gonna more wrong. Yeah, more wrong, the better. The more wrong, the better. I like I like how you think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what is going on. Okay. I'm going to vote for D. I don't know. I feel intrigued by this coconut vanilla. Let's uh, go uh, for that one. Well, we keep the Caribbean. We have rum. Coconut. Not, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Naturally. Naturally coconut, coconut milk. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Same people. Thank you, Ambo. That's true, then. I feel this is like three quarters, a cup, half a cup. Nah, that's more than a half a cup. Yeah, I'll say it's about three quarters. Yeah. So, y'all, if y'all have some almond milk at home, coconut milk or something, and some peanut butter. And rum. And rum. <laughs> just whip this up right now. The banana bread might take some more time, but you can make this literally right now with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try it. Oh, come tell me where you think. Yeah. This is Chef G's spike, coconut, rum, punch. Thing. <laughs> Thing. Thing. I'm improvising it. He's improvising. <laughs> so now look at that. He's not even um, using a blender or anything, just a whisk and a bowl. Y'all, I didn't know you could do this. I Here didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know either. And okay. we have a... And Jemima here, you know, yeah. so it's a little sweet. Yeah. 
and well, some maple leaf goodness. It might yeah. taste like a eating peanut butter and palm tree, so you know. Right. Right. Y'all, so what are you, are you excited about like how food businesses are opening? Do you, like? Um, honestly, I'm going to see how things go along and how we progress our country and also things go internationally. Um, a lot of the food businesses use a lot of important ingredients and that's going to be hard. If, I don't want to see the price of food that we have to buy of same reasons. But if imports is going to be hard for us to get any months that come, then we'll have to rest. As well as, it's glad, I'm glad that they open because I have a lot of friends who work in the industry. And that means that they can get to go back to work, they can get paid, they can keep their jobs, right? Which is a very important thing in this time. But you have the downside where the business itself may not make because not everyone wants to go out and buy food. Um, they don't have the ingredients. They have to try to make do with what they have and what they don't have. And ultimately, the staff may suffer for it as well. So it's a give and take. And I really want to see how it goes along and how the country continues to progress. Yeah. So we have noticed um, a lot of people who work um, daily paid jobs or jobs weekly, a lot of people are losing their jobs. And we are trying with our community kitchen initiative to just provide some food on the table for families who can't afford it. So please donate. The link is in the bio. It's really easy. And um, just, you know, as Chef G said earlier in the live, how about your fellow brethren? Right now, you good. You stay at home in your house, you have groceries and take. What will happen six months from now when you don't have? Who will help you? But if you know you help now, come on, let's come around, right? You help someone, you know someone, you might help you later on, you don't know, right? So you gotta, you gotta look from that perspective. Hey, Chef, how is that you think? It needs more rum. <laughs> it needs more rum. <laughs> yeah, we loaded it up. I know, you need to get some too, so I have to put more peanut butter and more rum and more coconut. Nah. More. How is the coconut vanilla milk tasting? It well, because of the peanut butter and the, and the rum and the nutmeg, you're not going to taste it predominantly, but it blends really well with it, though. Like, lovely. Wow. Yeah. So, now I know all well, the punch men and them all day, you know, they could use naturally coconut, coconut milk, or almond milk, you know, give people a, a vegetarian, a vegetarian punch. Yeah. yeah. Especially for people who are trying to, who have problems, you know, with dairy. Yeah. yeah. Look at that, he's adding more. Yeah. Okay, so like, I think the first set you did was enough for like one person, but this is enough for like two people, three people. I hope so. Yeah, it depends how much punch you like, I guess. But this is alcoholic, y'all, so you can't overdo it. Well, you could because you're home. Okay. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> drink and sit on the couch. Yeah. Right. So I think the key for this is to really make sure the peanut yeah. Butter is blended. Because you don't want it to have, and again, I know it's not blender, so we use the spoons to kind of like mush it Yeah, out. he's so, mushing it. Yeah. I wish I had more thick. Yeah, man. We really thick for the banana bread. Yeah. <laughs> not my fault. Let's bring this on me. Yeah. But for all those people in the comments, like, while y'all are waiting for something to bake, what are y'all doing? Are y'all watching TV? Are y'all donating? Yeah, are y'all donating? Because when y'all um, give us a donation, we will be sending out thank you emails to, you know, show our appreciation. And, you know, you have documented that you helped the Guardian Media's cases fund. And you might get to be a taste of the next thing that Chef G do. You never know. Yeah, he said I'm free banana bread for all the supporters. <laughs> oh, none of yeah, all. <laughs> yeah. You might get lucky, y'all. You might, you might. You might. Oh, yeah. So, are we adding any ice to this? Do we have ice? I think so. I think we have hey, ice. Hey, we have ice. Oh, yeah, we have ice. That's a pretty good. Right, so, I'm going to put a bit more coconut milk here. Okay, some more coconut milk. Lovely. All right. A little bit more sweet now, which is fun. Great. So. 
Stress, but I'm gonna almost done. Punch, yeah. Okay. So we almost done there, y'all. Almost Chef, done. Chef G, I always like when I'm baking something, right? Mm -hmm. I feel really bad when I open the oven while it's cooking because I feel like the heat is escaping and the food is not gonna cook. Well, that yes is true. Um, but you have to be careful. Like, don't open it. Leave it open for too long. Don't open it too wide. So, like, right, like I'm going to open it now. Yeah, we're going to open it now, y'all. Progress. Up. Right now, these have been in for a while. And, again, you have to be familiar with what you're doing. Yeah. Right? So, I mean. They're looking good, too. These won't drop because of, well, I don't know. I just. This is the electric oven, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, with an electric oven, you also keep, tend to get a better regulated temperature. Right. Oh, look at that, y'all. So that's looking really nice. So I'm going to pull out one. Yay! Yeah, it. Yeah. it may have to go back in for a little while. But... Okay, okay. Look at that, y'all. You all have to fix the right I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. We have a fork. <laughs> yes, I'll use an Okay, so we right, are using so a knife. Usually you could use a toothpick, you could use a skewer, you could use a piece of spaghetti. Um, I don't have any of those right now because I know what was it, right? But I use a fork or a knife, right? Okay. So basically, I just want to chuck it in. All right, so it's coming out basically clean, just a little something on it. So I'm going to leave it for probably like about five minutes again. So I'll give us time to put this punch in a bowl and, and a <laughs> cup and drink it and yeah. get some to donate some more. And then yeah. we'll take these out in about five Remember, if one of y'all donate, y'all might, might get a banana bread. And you see, I have four in your box. One yeah. is for each one. And three is up for, <laughs> up, for the, up for the boats. All your boats now, all your boats, all your, all your, send all your donation, all your say something. Yeah. Come now, man. So make sure to check out Chef G on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Chef G, you see my logo there? Right. Chef, I mean, Chef G, that's him. We resemble it? We yeah, resemble it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Chef G, it's our food, food. it's our vibe, it's our love. Yeah? Everything you do must do with love. Right? Even when you fight, you must do with love. Now nah, we love that. That's how we move our proper. All right. Because when you're proper. Yeah. <laughs> but five minutes, you also stick around. <laughs> The final product is going, we're going to slice up the banana bread and we're going to have Chef G do a taste test for us. Me, no, you. You want to taste test for me? Y'all, I'm a very camera shy person, you know. Yeah, I, yeah I'm accustomed behind the scenes. You couldn't be better. I am actually very camera Oh my word, but look how famous you are. <laughs> <laughs> because, because we're driving. Um, I did a bit of food, and when I you has been asked me to do a video like for a while prior to that, and I was like, nah, boy, nah, boy, I don't feel like I can do that, I don't feel like I can do that, and I did it, and I was actually, he made me feel very comfortable behind the camera, and after that, I was like, okay, well, this is easy. So, this is all coconut peanut punch, spiked coconut peanut punch with rum, courtesy of the guy. Yeah, all right, you go. Wow. Come on. Lovely. I know that looks so good. I look how it came out so even. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's uh, a pro, he knows. We have a little, little in our hour one sale, we just sprinkle and someone took this for the measure. Look at that, look how everything works out. Y'all don't waste food, eh? make use of what y'all have at home. Yeah, or oh, in proper kitchen, in my case. Yeah. <laughs> look at that, we had a whole set of fun with ingredients and look at that, that looks so beautiful. Great. So, I will let you take the first sip. Me? Yeah. 
how are we doing today? This is yours. Yeah. This is mine. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, it tastes really good. I taste any rum. Rum sponge, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. And we do get item too. Right? Naturally, almond, almond milk with rum. With rum. Mm -hmm. Y'all, honestly, this coconut milk was a really good addition to this recipe. Yeah, I must say something. You would not know it's coconut milk unless I could use it. Nah, I feel like next time I'm baking and that kind of thing, you should make a drink, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make like... Surprise, surprise. Yeah. It'll keep you calm. It'll keep you going. Because honestly, these corona times could be a little stressful. And you rum yourself. Yeah, you rum yourself. <laughs> it does, it does. Nah, we should invite Chef G back to do some cocktails with us. Um, yeah, and food. I think we can have like a little tapas, drinks, kind of vibe going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I think that's what we're going to do because we have some real cool uh, mixologists on our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can come on by with them. Yeah. So, there we go, y'all. But now, nah, Chef G, one of the keys to making good food and, you know, keeping your sanity in the kitchen is to clean up, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Because I hear some messy kitchen, to be honest with you. Yeah. Thank you for washing your ears. I'm the tripod, so I'm half of the off right now. <laughs> but now, I go and back for a sip of my drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know what 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 are we calling this? The coconut rum punch? We call this the chef. naturally almond COVID punch. <laughs> oh sorry, naturally coconut COVID punch. <laughs> well then hit up. Don't worry. This will keep you all going around then. And and you know coconut has a lot of nutrition in it as well, eh? vitamins and stuff, peanut butter, the banana as well, and well. Uh, I know what I did say, you know, around this, it is really yeah. cool and thing now. So, yeah, yeah that, that girl, it, it will be immunity and thing, you know, just strong, you know, vitality. Well, that's it, I just stamp it on. Yeah. Now, you see, Chef G knows how to improvise. Look at that. We made the best of what we had, you know? So, yo, but one food I was looking forward to is honestly, Doubles. <laughs> what food are you looking forward to to try in there? Me? Yeah. Doubles is my food here. Yeah. I make doubles for more, not because I can't make it, but because if I make it, I wouldn't end up eating it. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I just had my first doubles for the month yesterday. Wow. Because as the doubles man opened, I was like, yeah, Ross, is the same. Look how long you man. You remember that was it? Yeah. Okay, get back to my loaf. Because I tell him I didn't wear the wraps. So I Nah, I'm a person. I don't eat doubles right there at the stand, you know. No, no, no. I just take my doubles and sit down quietly and eat it. I kind of just say that you're standing up. You're not standing up and assume the position, you're leaning over. Yeah, let me see the demonstration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not standing up, you're leaning over, so your clothes don't get dirty. You know, you put your hand in it. Top away, you know, as far as the doubles claw. Okay, yeah. let's see that doubles claw again. Doubles claw. Okay, right? you'll yeah. never hear about that? Yeah, grab the bar, oh, wrap right. it around, right? right? And yet, yeah, you know, ting the neck up. Because you don't yeah. want to dirty your clothes, especially if you know you're going to fight something. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But you see, I do not fight you. And like, they have me. It's the one before I drink that, the one after I drink them. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I don't quote this stuff up. And then you have to, you know, make sure everything good. Ah, so what's that? All right, all right. I ain't too much care for the bar, for the kids. They don't say much. The doubles bar on our routine. What one day I have routine Tuesday? Oh my word! Yeah, man, I feel like I routine myself, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I hold it off. I'm busy helping with community kitchen, y'all. Uh, we have to, you know, plug in the link in bio again for anybody who is listening. Make sure to check it out. Check it out. Share it, donate. Yeah, we are mean. Yeah. We're not just we're not just doing it just for sure. 
Yeah. We do this because we want to help people, right? I myself, where is your living? I got a little room, prep in the kitchen, do the thing, and I go to work tomorrow, and I prep again and I go home in the evening. No, but as I say, it's probably good, you know, probably good, right? Yeah, man. I hear you. But Chef G, I just feel like this banana bread. No, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. I'm anticipating it. You can't even see it. Everything is happening at time. Yeah. That's a good motto to live by. Don't rush life, y'all. Don't rush. Don't rush. This is great. I hear you. I'm going in for another sip, y'all. But everybody, if you're wondering, looking for the full recipe, we will be posting it on our website. And you all check out our Guardian publications out every Wednesday and all these community kitchen recipes. You'll get a copy of it. You know, your grandma might even go on the website, but you could get you a, a copy of your Guardian. So make sure to check it out. Yeah, you might get granny to make a little bit of number for you, or you could make a little bit of granny. Mm -hmm. I like how that sounds. Yeah. yeah. I like how Mother's Day was just really but Mother's Day is every day. Oh, right? that's really nice. So, yeah, let me call it on a bread for mommy, for granny, to come down my try to say. All right. All right, we're taking our check, y'all. Oh, my word, I feel it's almost done. No, I feel it's done, babe. Woohoo, check that. Woohoo, yeah, I got fish, doesn't it? Mmm. Ah, looking good, y'all. Yes, looking nice. Look at that design. Mmm. I'll get some more ready done. Yeah, boy. I'll show his one finished too. Yeah, we will ask him to send a picture to see what's going on. Oh my word, beautiful. And the next good thing too is that if you watch it, you can see that the banana bread is fully cooked because you see it jumping in the pan there. Yeah. Right? That's because we made sure to have butter and flour this size liberally. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're gonna do? Yeah. You need a plate? No, ideally you shouldn't take it off so soon. Mm -hmm. Right, so ideally you shouldn't take this out so soon, right? And don't grab the pan just like that because it's hot. My hand is a little hard now, right? Um, we want it to cool, but because we're on TV, I'm going to take it out the pan now so that we can get it to cool, right? I think Mohammed is back, y'all. Uh, let me see what's going on there. Let's see what's going on. So Mohammed, you're there? I'm there, boy. Uh, all right. And it's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, banana bread, come out. Look, look, watch me, watch me. Ah. Uh -huh. Your banana bread looking. Come on, see, come on, see. Watch it now, watch it now, watch it. Watch me now. Uh, you tell yourself. So you know how to check it, right? Yeah, the upper ice picking it. Yeah, you're seeing that. Check it and see what's going on there, man. I don't know. See, man. Right? Nice, yes. Clean and nice. Right, right, right. You'll but, see, man. All right. I'm going to take mine on the pan one time here. Yeah? Right? So you can cool yeah. a little bit faster. I'm going to check it in the freezer so I could slice it one time. You can do the same as you can. Right? Yeah. All right. Hey, so what Granny say about that um banana bread there, Mohammed? Well, look at it. You gonna do? Oh, keep Mohammed about to flip. Let's yeah. see how Let he does it. Let me see the flip. Ah, you, you are right. Try, 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 try. Check it, check it. Pops. Check it. Hey, look how easy it come out real clean. You see? Wow. Because we do it liberally. Yeah, we impressed. I don't have a limp pan to play something now. Right? I just just make sure I jump in any pan, put my hand over it. Boom. Boom. Bang. Bang. Lovely. And you can tell it real soft and tender because watch it. It's moist. It's moist. Yeah. What's up, Kendrick? Right? So I want to check the thing. Don't push me. Come on. Come on.
No. Look. Granny Westerton. She outside, but she love it. She said it is ah. a little bit. The whole kitchen smells like my house. <laughs> yes, 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 no, I make punch on thing just now there. I realized that. Yeah, you know, I punch on thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the one's finish it. Oh, that one's there. That one already yet. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Looking real nice there. Hmm. I could lost my work, boy. You could put me in, you could put me in competition there, boy. Never. Yeah. Never. <laughs> the other one almost done. Uh, All right, right. Leave, it, leave him for a little bit. Yeah. Everybody who you in, well, let's, let's try this recipe. I'm going to make all your thing and make it look nice. Or you have a post and picture. Tag proper eats. Tag Mohammed. Tag me. Right? You don't have to tag me so much. Give me your feedback. But tag me still, eh? Give me your feedback. Let me know. Right? Right? You're onto something with a banana on top, though. It, it, it looking sexy. Well, I know that. You know how much and things I, I try People don't want to People look right. Stancy, boy. How you put that thing on the top? How you this? How you that? Nah, nah, nah. Don't worry, nah, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you see, you see. Yeah. So, so, Mohammed, yada, yada. Let yeah. me make some punch with that. I'm gonna make yeah, right now I can't drink no punch right at this very moment, but I will. I will. Not, not I will. at this moment, but I was just killing time now. No, no, I appreciate it though. Like, I really, really want to try it. I've been wanting to try the almond milk, so I really appreciate it. And the cashew milk is good too, so. Yeah. Yeah, man. I did, I did the coconut milk. Coconut, coconut. milk was nice. Mm -hmm. That would taste real good in a punch, for sure. Yeah. Right now, Brown's there, want to come with me now? I don't know. Any comment here? I feel really impatient to cut this banana bread, but I know I'm not putting the freezer, but like, I want the freezer to freeze faster, yes? Let's see if I have a nice little something to present it on. I know all of them who view, you know, they're probably anxious. Right? If all they're still there, they can't go nowhere, you know. All they gotta, all they gotta eat this with all their eyes. You put it in the freezer and it come out already? No, it didn't come out yet. <laughs> oh. I wish. I have two more of them still, because I went in last. But that them looking like they're almost ready. Yeah, they went in there almost ready. Well, two minutes again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Come in to give you opinion. You come in to give you opinion. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. This is my grandmother. She don't want to be on camera. But she <laughs> wants to come here and tell me what to do and what not to do. Right? So let's say good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good night, Granny. Oh, good night. How much banana? Plenty. Plenty? Yeah. And how and how Chef G banana bread looking? It looked good. It I'm smells very good. proud of you. I have to taste it to give the final answer. Hmm. Of course. If you say it's good, then good enough. If you say it's good, then good. Right, I'll tell you. Right. She said she would tell you. Right. How long we can say it? I see, must be another. She don't feel like so, I do it. Thing by myself now, so she just come now to check. So she's gonna test the bread here now no. because she feel like I can't do it now. <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> she wants you to want to put the ice pick because she waited. No, she have testers now, but thing is looking bad. Camera, you know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 
Yeah. Almost finished, you see. It's finished, right? Yeah. Right, right. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Worry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. So, so my mom, why there was, why, why, why there was um sorting out your data situation? You put together ah. a little voice so we can. Yeah, I'm singing so much today and yesterday. I just, I just been singing, 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 singing. Sing for now, bro. I just wanna eat bread. Let's we'll sing a song about eating bread. Nobody is sure. You'll get her, you'll get her. Don't worry. <laughs> right now inside the people and them kitchen smelling real nice. You know, they might come, they might, I live in a bar and I bread with them, they might come tomorrow and want to know why is that a refreshment mm. <laughs> Granny say you must come and cook by her. Time not in? I'm not afraid that. I know you're afraid that. Go do a thing. Yeah. She might quarrel with me though. She might say, no, how you doing that so? Do do that so? Mm, definitely. Are you quarreling with it? No, I won't quarrel with him. <laughs> I won't quarrel with you, boy. <laughs> Granny, I, I just cook really unorthodox, you know. He's cook what? Unorthodox. Unorthodox. Oh, unorthodox. Boy, as long as it tastes good, it's good. All right, nice, nice. Right. And I would keep out of the kitchen when you're here because I know you will do everything good. So you wouldn't keep out of the kitchen when no, I when no, I no, take. No, 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 no. Hey, boy, hey. Gets no respect, boy. <laughs> Should you tell like a novice? Well, yeah, remember, after them, he's always a baby, eh? No matter how big it is. True, 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 true. So she likes the almond milk, too. Mm-hmm. I have to watch my figure and that will keep me slim. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Yeah. Say that again. I love the banana. I like the banana milk. The almond, the almond milk. milk, sorry. Because it will keep me slim. Nice. That will be slim. Real Watch that. Naturally, I'm on it. Free advertising. Free advertising. Naturally, I'm on <laughs> For you and your granny. If you're keeping me slim. Oh my <laughs> God. What is this? <laughs> I'm doing this. You're done in it. You're done advertising. You're done Free promo. It. So, but hey, let's stay. <laughs> no, this almost done. And this should be done. Yeah. Well, it started off as me cooking banana bread and has ended with my grandmother taking over the kitchen no, as no, usual. No, no, no. I mean, no. Taking over what are you doing? Kitchen. So what is it? What happened is I just uh-huh. ensured that I kind of cook. She's not taking over. She's making sure I cook. All right. Because he did everything and he did it great. He did a good job. Right, we need the game. It's done, anyway. It's looking nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is nice. And it has the right color and everything. Yes. Nice. Gorgeous. It's lovely. I can make a nice one so that is the truth. I have to get that recipe. I have it. Have it. You have it, you have it. So I want to check my banana right now. You know I have to fix it first. What are you freeze are looking? What's going on there? Yes. It's not fully set. It's not fully set, but for time, we will work with it now, right? We will work with it. Okay. So they are looking for tomorrow's cooking class. Tomorrow we have Kai Roberts and Travis Will. They're making baked mac and cheese for lunch at 12 p.m., right? Right? Sponsored by Carnation, right? Watch now. If they want to know how to make mac and cheese, I know Kai person. Kai is a good one. If we make it mac and cheese, I want some. So I want to find out where they're making that. I come and tell them, stay tuned. And Maggie, yes, Maggie have a, Maggie have a part to play in that, see in that. So you know what time it is, eh? Tomorrow at 12 p.m., right? Those stick, they will get the clip, right?
Okay, so you're slicing up now? Yeah, we're on slow, we don't hear. All right, let me slice it. It's still a little hot, but those three are using a chain chop, but that's slice banana bread. All right. Let's see what we know. Because it's hot, you will get a nice smooth cut because you want it to cool so that everything congeal. Right? But you see what we know there? Chunks of banana, the nuts, and a very nice, spongy, soft texture. Right? That is what we're looking for. Right? Property. Proper eats, property. Mm -hmm. I did take a nap with five. Oh, All right, Mohammed is back. He should be. Yeah. We back, I see you. Right. So you see what's going on here? You see this steam stuff for all the banana bread. A real rush. Because of the time. Right? I ain't let it cool properly. Yeah. You see how moist that is? Go uh -huh. and you plate this. Yeah. I ain't know if you slice yours. But watch now. You see any pieces of banana. You see any nuts inside. And you see how moist it is. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. You're looking Spongy. good. Mm -hmm. Like you eating pizza already? Nah, mine cooling still. Mine cooling now. Oh, yeah. Right. And I'm going to get my assistant a piece here to eat. Right? Mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. it, is it granny approved? Yeah, granny, granny approved. <laughs> she approved it. Yeah, right. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. it came out very good. Tell them. It came out good, very good. And I'm a punch. Banana bread and peanut punch. Spiked peanut Easy. punch. Mmm. Well, check it out. Naturally, I'm on. Right? Naturally, I'm on. I'm on milk. Original vanilla coconut milk. Right? Mm -hmm. We can wrap up here now. Yes, sir. Check in tomorrow, 12 p.m. Carry and Travis World. Mac and cheese. Carnation and Maggie. Nice, nice, proper eats. Right? It was really nice. Love enough. It was, it was. Give money to the people on them who need it the most. Right? If you can't give money, send some food items, send your services, something. Or they help out somebody who needs it. something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure. Much love. What's that? Anything you want to say before we leave? I want to send love to everybody who might be going through it, you know, whether it be financially, emotionally, however. You know what I mean? Hold on. Everything will be good. Everything will be good. Don't worry yourself. You know what I mean? For sure, for That's sure. All right, nice, nice, nice. Good night. Yes, good night. Salute. Good night, my brother. Easy. Yeah, my brother.